So we're trying to build the little, uh, it's kind of like, it's kind of like a raised garden bed, but I'm putting the grow bags inside. So we're trying to build this well, first. Wants to be in the middle. Um, these wood pieces from Home Depot were $5. So you could get them at Home Depot. All you need is wood screws, a screwdriver, and these are six, six feet. This is the extra. This is the extra, so you put it on the corner and it makes a six by, I want to say that's about three feet, six by three feet raised bed. Pretty cheap. It's about $20 to make this raised bed. And look who wants to get planted. And Joker girl over here Once again, just found a place in here. And he you know the, the... And he doesn't want to move. Oh, there <laughs> he goes. It's a so, big baby. That's a little bit of our process right now. Yeah, and baby. this is a big grow bed. We got this off of Amazon. Mm -hmm. All I looked up is grow bags with four individual... Um, I just put four individual grow bags and this kind of came up. Um, you can also put grow bags large and this will come up as well. I can put the link on the bottom. And then these are little bags. This is a three gallon bag and this is a five gallon bag right here. So something like the five gallon, you could grow tomatoes you could grow zucchini, eggplant, carrots, celery, anything that grows really large, you want to put in a bigger bag. Anything that's smaller like this, you could put sage, rosemary, oregano, mint, any type of herb plant. Um, these are the seeds that we're growing. So we got chocolate, pepper, it just looked like interesting. Um, and this is by the brand My Gardener. I could put the link down below. Um, so we got that one. We got pineapple tomato. It just looked a little bit different than a regular tomato. I don't know if it's going to taste different. This one is bronze lettuce by the company Seed Geeks. I got this off of Etsy. And it just has like a bronze gold color with green. It just looks Cute and pretty. This is Sage. Love. Cody loves this, so we're gonna grow this again and have some success. And we got um This is a salad mix. No, this is actually um what's that called? This is a surprise, we don't even know what it is. So they added this in here, so pretty much a surprise. It does say salad bowl mix, but I don't know what that means. I guess we'll find out when it grows. I guess whatever's on there. So that's pretty cool. Look at this thing. I didn't even know it. Coffee. Because if you know, coffee is actually a plant. So you could grow it. And we, we love our coffee. We love coffee. So if we could grow it, guess who's going to come to us, everybody? Rosemary. So you could put that in a three gallon bag. We got pink plum celery. I don't know if it's going to taste any different. It has like a purplish green color. The way we grow it, in, <clears throat> we're growing it in um, all natural soil. So no extra anything. So. Lavender, we need our lavender always. Did you tell them what kind of soil we're using? We're using all natural soil, like what we always usually do. All Purple natural. carrot. I'm oh. gonna show you the soil right now. All natural everything. Hold on, why don't you finish this up? Oh, okay. We got three more. I get sidetracked. <laughs> you need to get excited. Golden Detroit beet. It's just like an orange beet. Oh, Different. Blackberry eggplant by my gardener. Black beauty. Black beauty. Jeez, what did I say? You, <laughs> Blackberry. You said it the other day too. I don't know why. If you just see Mary it. Washington asparagus. We need asparagus. I love asparagus. And then, yeah, onto the soil. So. This is the soil we've been using. I also have another soil that I've been mixing up. So this one is by Miracle Grow. It's the organic and natural potting soil. If you do organic soil, it's better. 
so let me show you the soil other soil that I mixed up let's see I actually threw it out let's see this one I got off of Amazon they do, I didn't really see so this is the one that I mixed up with that one so nature's care I'll link this all down below this one I got off of Amazon eight dollars a bag I'm not sure if they have bigger bags I was looking but now I'm gonna need more because we have so much that we're growing so so far we got this this is gonna have tomato eggplant zucchini I might just do an extra tomato plant so two tomato plants eggplant and zucchini the bigger bags I'm gonna do bell pepper asparagus um, bell pepper asparagus I might do beets in there some carrots in there um, we got the multi pack the lavender goes inside the smaller bags three gallon bags celery so we got a whole lot over here um so i got these grow bags so we got these bricks so so far we got that so this is how it looks oh i forgot to mention we got red mulch so what our plan is is put the red mulch in the middle and then put the grow bags and line them up we have our greenhouse there we need to start filling that up we don't have anything in there right now but we're going to start filling it up with certain things so whatever this doesn't fit we're going to pin in the greenhouse um we have a couple of shelves in there this is from amazon i'll link it down below um so red mulch on the bottom we got a little bit of cinnamon if you see that cinnamon helps kill any type of plants or any type of different type of animals like raccoons um anything uh possums they don't like the smell of cinnamon so we decided to put cinnamon here i also have cayenne pepper over here so we're gonna sprinkle a little bit inside so that's a little bit of a tip cinnamon and cayenne pepper no bugs no animals like it so if you have any type of creatures coming in your backyard and eating all your vegetables remember that cinnamon and cayenne pepper bugs too you don't want no bugs trying to eat your vegetables so that's what we have so far so the red mulch on the bottom and we're gonna have this I'm not sure if it's gonna fit in here if it doesn't I'm just gonna put it on the back and then we're gonna just line up some of the grow bags just make it cute we might spray paint this another day um get some spray paint wood spray paint uh from home depot and spray this maybe a darker color um for now it's okay the easy thing about it is that you can lift it up and you can bring it wherever you're going if you're moving this is perfect you could just pick it up and that's it you could relocate it if you don't like this spot you could go to a different spot. I just like how this looks. We agreed on um, having it in front of the greenhouse because it's like all of the planting and the plants and the veggies and the fruits and trees. All of that is just going to be right here in this section. Um, I think it's just perfect. Just because when you walk out, you can see this and especially when they start growing they're just going to be large and very pretty um sight to see so we're gonna stay tuned i'm gonna link all of this down below um and also the seeds that we're planting so stay tuned and we'll show you the fin finished product of how everything looks Oh, also I have fertilizer. I will link that down below. Got that all for Amazon. Um, and stay tuned. So this is the process now. So what we did is we put plastic underneath. You're gonna see the cayenne pepper. That's just for bugs. Um, so we put the red mulch on the bottom. We put plastic just to protect the, the floor. Um, 
I don't know if red mulch dies cement, but so we did the plastic anyways just to protect it. Um, put it inside here. Tr still trying to figure out exactly how to keep the plastic in place. We did put the red mulch here. We have the three gold grow bags there. I actually ran out of soil, which I already knew was gonna happen. So I'm just laying it out just to see the process. This one obviously didn't fit in there, so we just put it in front of it. Um, so pretty much this is the overview. So we got tomatoes I'm gonna put here, zucchini, eggplant, and maybe carrots there, or just another tomato. We're gonna have another carrots, beets, onions. We're gonna have all of our sage and our lavender here. Um, that's it so far, so good. We're definitely gonna spray paint this, probably to match the mulch, um, either a darker wood, something with the red tint. So that's it so far, so good. It's right in front of our greenhouse, which we gotta fill up. So stay tuned for that. We'll show you the process on that. So far, so good. I think it looks really cute, especially when you just come walk out, you see your garden here. Um, we don't have anything in our backyard, but we are gonna probably fill it up. Might do something like this again, or just leave our garden in front. Um, so someone's walking to the back they can automatically see the garden and then they walk to the back um so this is how we have it i think it looks really cute also we put the cements here just to give it some type of height um i don't know if we're gonna put another wood on the bottom we might we might not um i don't think it looks too bad Especially if someone's just walking, they're not going to really see the plastic, they'll see the plants. That's what we want to see. I think it came out so far so good. So, just need more soil, so I'm going to order that off of Amazon. And then probably put two more here. Small grow bags right here. I like how it looks folded than regular. I think it just looks a little neater. So, so far so good. And we'll show you the rest of the process. Um, we're probably going to stop here and then continue tomorrow. Just because we haven't even uh, ate any lunch or nothing yet. And we have to do laundry. So stay tuned. We'll show you the rest of this. I'll do this another day. We're going to fill it up. We're just going to clean the bottom part. I have incense in there food for the plants which i'm not sure if i want to use that again it's okay but i feel like it did something to the plants this was our sage from last season and obviously it drooped down then it came back up um then we'll show you this in another video so stay tuned thank you for watching and we'll put all the links down below bye guys totally forgot to close out this video but thank you so much for watching our video um and showing you guys exactly how we built our grow bag garden and the diy raised bed all of the products we mentioned will be in the description box below definitely follow us on instagram because we always update you guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe to our channel we posted more i would say probably two to three times a week we're trying to get a schedule together but definitely follow us on instagram you'll find out all that information we'll see you guys in our next video bye